Hey guys, today's video is about three bourgeois foundations. Three that I think about when I think of the bourgeois foundation lines. I know they have a few other ones as well, but basically I just wanted to share with you a little mini review of each and for like what kind of skin types might be best suited for each one. I have the very popular Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I also have the Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation and the Bourjois Air Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So I'm gonna start out with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and this foundation is very heavily fragranced. Even though they all kind of are a bit fragranced, I find that this one is the most. This one has an almost gel cream texture. It does go on very smoothing and moisturizing without feeling greasy at all. However, I will say that once it dries, it does dry to more of a semi-matte. Um, so it doesn't totally give you a really dewy effect, but it's definitely not like super flat either. It leaves your skin feeling very, very soft. Out of the three foundations, this is definitely the most undetectable. So if you're looking for like a more natural, no makeup makeup look, I would definitely go for this one. I would say that this foundation is best for, yeah. yeah. I do think that this is the best one for dry skin out of the three. However, if you have really bad texture issues or a lot of dry patches, then I'm not totally convinced that this would be perfect. I have had an issue before of it clinging to like flakes on my nose and things. Even though I have oily skin, I will wear this and it doesn't look gross. Like even after like a few hours, even though I will look shiny, it doesn't crumble or separate. By the way, I have the shade 51 Vanilla, which is the palest shade I believe you can buy. It does have more of a neutral to yellow undertone. The next one is this Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation. This one is the newest to my collection and it is one of my favorites. This is definitely best for those of us with combo to oily skin. It does a really good job at holding my oils. like. Anyway, this foundation does last a pretty long time. It does keep me completely shine free for like five hours. After that, I might get a little bit shiny, but it's still not bad at all. It's definitely like a matte medium coverage. And this is one of the few foundations that I own that still is on at the end of the day. Like when I use a makeup wipe, like there's a lot coming off on the makeup wipe. And I kind of like that because I know that the foundation like did its job, it stayed on. Um, whereas sometimes with other foundations, like I go to take my makeup off at the end of the day, there's barely anything being taken off. It says 16 hours of wear, which is the same as what the Healthy Mix says. I would say this one definitely lasts longer than the Healthy Mix Serum. This foundation says that it has three correcting pigments, yellow pigments for dark circles, mauve pigments for anti-dull complexion, green pigments for anti-redness. Honestly, I, I don't really notice anything. I mean, then again, I don't like have a lot of discoloration on my skin anyway, but this is a medium buildable foundation. I'm not gonna say it gives you full coverage at all, but it does give you good coverage, definitely more so than the Healthy Mix Serum. I also have the lightest shade. I think it's also called 51 Vanilla in this foundation. This foundation does oxidize more than the Healthy Mix Serum foundation, so it is a little bit too dark for me once it dries. I do have to mix in a lighter foundation or a like white foundation mixer in order to make this fit my fair skin but I would say if you're NC 20 then this 51 shade would be just fine and the last foundation is the air matte 24 hour foundation this is very similar to the hourglass immaculate uh, liquid to powder foundation the one in the silver bottle that's meant for oily skin to me they have the same texture the same finish the same wear time however this foundation oxidizes like crazy i kind of wish that i had gotten a different shade in this one this one is the 01 rose ivory i think it was technically like the lightest one but i think the second shade up would have been a little bit more yellow toned i find this one like very orange like you can even see in the tube that like it looks really really dark so I can't really wear this one I find it way too dark so I wouldn't recommend this if you have really pale skin I do like the finish of this though like it does give a matte finish but it feels very lightweight on the skin I think this is definitely best for again combo to oily I would say it has 
about the same amount of coverage as the Bourjois 123 foundation, medium buildable. I don't think any of these are super full coverage at all. This would not be good for dry skin in my opinion, only because I find that it does kind of dry out your skin. Like kind of makes you feel like if you smile too much, it might crack a little bit. And I honestly don't hate that feeling because I have oily skin and I guess you just want what you can't have, but I would not recommend this for people who hate that feeling. I would definitely go for one of the previous two that I mentioned if you prefer like a more hydrating feeling. I just thought it'd be helpful to put it out there if you are wanting to try the Bourjois foundations but aren't sure which one might be right for you. Hopefully a couple of these points helped you decide. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.